guys. So today we're going to talk about passing the knee shield. Now, um, as we laid out in the warm up, I get you the knee shield. Rather than stupidly driving into this thing and setting up every possible thing that works for the knee shield, I stuff it. We talked about that at length on Monday. And we laid out how I can grab the bottom leg, smash the top leg. So I, I sort of hog tie the knees together, pull in the collar, head in the hip, start to break past the legs, past the guard. I've settled side control. We've gone for the knee shield, guys. We did it. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, let's ask a very basic question. OK, I have these grips down here. I think it's fair to say this is going to be hard for him to break, right? This grip right here. There's some stuff. This grip right here, it's going to be hard for him to break. Now, that's to say that he couldn't. It's just to say that it might be difficult, okay? This collar grip, might be, he might prevent it a little, right? He's going to hand fight all this. But once I get it, it should be pretty hard for him to break, right? I can break that grip, please. It's kind of a weird angle for him to attack at. What's the one thing he can definitely put something between me and him to prevent from me grabbing a hold of? What's the point of contact that I, yeah? Uh, frame. Frame, and what's he preventing from do, happening? You collect the head touch. Head to the hip, right? So he's going to stop my head from going to the hip, right? I go to the pant grip, I go to the collar grip, he's going to stop my head from going to the hip. What's the best way he can establish a frame with this arm right now? What's the strongest point of contact he can establish right here? Okay, he can stiff arm. What's the best way he can reinforce that stiff arm? Form to a grip. Yeah, collar grip, right? Collar grip. Damn it. And now here I am. Try and go with my leg rope. Go ahead and keep that stiff arm. Try and get my head in the hip. And now I'm at the end of this grip. This might have happened, some of you watching this, thinking about the knee shields you've encountered in your time. You might have been watching all of this going like, okay, coach, that's all right. We're reset. That's cool. Okay, we're in the knee shields. Got it up. So reset. Okay, I stuff it. Everything's great. Well, what if before all that even happens, he grabs his collar grip? And now I'm at the end of this frame. So what if even at the very beginning I'm dealing with this, right? What about the collar grip? Now, before we go into this, like dealing with the fact that they have a grip, I want to make a quick note. And I should, I should have brought like a, one of those like uh, megaphones, all right? But like, do not let people grab your collars. Don't do it. Your best answer to dealing with this grip is don't let them have it in the first place. All right, I want you to think about grips, and we've talked about it. Many of you who have been with me, training with me for long, have heard me say this a lot of times. I want you to imagine that the second someone grabs a hold of you with a collar grip, you start a stopwatch. Every solitary fraction of a second that is in added to that time, that grip's getting stronger. He's going to be winding it in, or excuse me, he's going to be winding it in, he's tightening it, getting it reinforced, and so on. So if I break it right away, okay, whatever, but if the longer he has it, the hard harder it is gonna be, it's going to be for me to break that. Does that make sense, y'all? So, the best answer is don't let him get the grip in the first place. Well, that starts getting into, like, yeah, thanks, dude, but, like, how? So, something I want to be mindful of here, it's the same thing if you're in the stand-up, the same thing if you're in the guard, same thing basically throughout all of the fight, is be proactive about the hand fight. It's, it's not really this hand I have to worry about, it's this hand. So, if he's reaching for power grips and stuff, it's like, control his wrists. You know? Control his hands. One quick note about wrist control is um, make sure that I don't grab with, like, my pinky. Uh, go ahead and circle your hand out of that. Pretty easy for him to find the weakness in that grip. But if I go like middle finger, circle out of that. It's like pretty hard for him to circle free because I have like more rotation. And then even if like really slowly circle, 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 I can rotate and meet him on the other side. He circles, 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 and I meet him on the other side. So it's pretty easy for me to follow him here. I want to find my middle and thumb around that sort of um, space between the knot of the wrist and the beginning of the thumb. Does that make sense, guys? If I want to go crazy, I can use this hand to control the wrist. Middle and thumb finds the bones. Everybody grab your arm. Find the bone of your elbow. You feel this? If you bend your elbow, you feel this knot right here? I'm going to catch these. Pull that away from me, please. That? Yeah, that's not good. It's like a pretty strong little grip. He keeps trying to fight and make stuff happen with it. I'm belly flopping. Ooh, right. So I'm hand fighting. I'm not just sitting here going like, oh, I'm trying to get me some of it. Right? Actively hand fight. Actively hand fight. I don't know why I look at you. just threw one right upside down. So I'll let you pass. Actively hand fight. Right. But what if I suck? You got the help. Okay. 
I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite things in all of jujitsu. This, this might, but I warn you, this might untether your mind from sanity because this is like the wildest shit. So he has this post, right? I can come up here trying to break this grip. He's got strong hands. I mean, look at these hands, guys. Look at how strong these hands are. Gorilla hands, right? That's why we call them gorilla grotto in this class. We've never caught them not one time, not one time, right? He's got these strong hands. It's hard to break them. Now I'm all up here. He starts pulling me in. Oh, man, now I'm susceptible to all these John Wayne sweeps, all this stuff, right? Or maybe he pulls and pushes me that way. I come back, there's his loop chip, right? Right? Ken Brown, baby. So, uh, he's got his knee shield. Check this out. I'm going to beat this with one grip. So he's got this, like you guys see, this is a strong grip, right? I'm going to grab inside of his armpit. I step on it. The reason is because I am longer from here to here than he is from here to here, right? So the best way I can phrase it is, it's kind of like if you're going on vacation and you put that like loose stick and slide in the last door so it won't open, right? Or won't, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm doing. I put the broomstick in the sliding glass door and it's standing. So we go back. All that grip is, do me a favor, uh, just raise your hand over your head. Uh, yeah, perfect. Everyone can see his armpit. I literally just grab his armpit. Like grab the fabric of his armpit. Might tickle him a little. You know, he's ticklish. See how that goes? You know? <laughs> see how that goes? Okay, <laughs> so we come back with a red bush. I, I don't know if I 100% made that weird, but I certainly walked this up right to the line. So I, I take that. So I grab the, a grip of the armpit and I just elongate. And by the way, guys, not to take too much time to talk about this, this shit works everywhere there's a collar. Except for maybe if you're underneath in like the mountain or something. Don't do this. But like if I'm in the guard, he gets a deep cross collar grip, I'm like dealing with chokes. I am longer here than he is. You see what I'm saying? Rather than deal with this stuff, man, this sucks, right? I'm like up here like, ah! You got that iron hands, I don't want to deal with that. What I know is that my entire upper body is stronger than that grip, right? My hands might not be, but my upper body is. So we go back. So we're here, he's got this collar grip, right? I'm here, I'm here. I break it, right? Now we're gonna piece this together with, actually, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Let's break and work on just these ideas. And then we're gonna go into actually countering this situation. So again, if prevented, if, or like first and foremost, he's trying to hand fight. No, no, do not grab my collar. High five him, break his, more, break his spirit, okay? And then I'm working, I like this and this. This is a really strong grip. Move me around, please. If you watch uh, Craig Jones uh, when he fought, um, who's the guy that does that podcast with uh, Tim? Was it Tim Street that he fought? Was Craig Jones that he caught in that Camaro like heel hook thing? I think it was Tim. Just got this grip. This is all he did. He just got this grip, and then dude couldn't do anything to this. This is wild. I'm here. Yeah, I think it was Tim Street. I'm here. If I want to go to my leg rope, he keeps fighting to pull that arm free, fighting to pull that arm free. I'm here. If he has it already, I'm dealing with this. If I had this leg rope and this collar, I'll talk about the grip transfer in a second. Let's just worry about the first part. Grab the armpit, elongate. Play around with this. Let your partner hold on tight. You'll break the script. Right? If I try to break it with the hands, it might be kind of hard. If I'm here, boom. Does that make sense? You need to see anything, Chase? Good. Yeah. Pretty simple, right? Remember, guys? Thumbs and middle fingers for control, even with the elbow. We're not trying to hook like this, we're hooking like this. Play around with these two ideas, and then we're going to talk about passing. All right, let's get to it. One, two, three. 